LeBron James is being sued, but the man suing him might not be the most trustworthy person on the planet. Greetings and salutations, everybody, and welcome back to The Fumble. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Do me a favor. Make sure you follow me on all things social media at Jackie Ray TV. But first, make sure you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Okay, so let's go back. Way back. All the way back to before the NBA lockout. Do you remember that? Yeah, most of you probably won't. But at that time, this man, Billy Hunter, was the executive director for the NBA Players Association. He held that position from 1996 to 2013. In 2011, negotiations during the lockout were a complete mess and Derek Fisher, who was the association president at the time, requested an audit of Hunter's business practices. The audit proved Hunter wasn't exactly on the up and up and he was fired in 2013. Four years later, he sued the NBA for $10 million saying whether he was on the up and up or not, the NBA owed him the remaining balance on his contract. The case was settled for an undisclosed amount, but remember that number, $10 million, because your boy Hunter is tossing that number around again. LeBron James has done some amazing work with his production company. I, for one, am quite proud of him. He's been employing and empowering black actors and directors to tell stories that Hollywood would show no real interest in. Now, he and his buddy Drake decided to produce a film around this book called Black Ice, The Lost History of the Colored Hockey League of the Maritimes in 1895 to 1925. But. Billy Hunter says he paid the book's authors, George and Daryl Fossey, $265,000 for the rights for a movie on the book, but says the authors went behind his back and negotiated a deal with LeBron James and Drake for a documentary. Sounds plausible. I'm sure they have deeper pockets than the $265,000, but sounds like his beef should be with the authors and not LeBron and Drake. When Billy Hunter confronted authors George and Daryl Fossey about their side deal, Hunter claims the author said the documentary did not violate their agreement with Billy Hunter because a documentary is different than a movie. Again, sounds plausible. I've seen crime documentaries turned into movies on several occasions, but Hunter says LeBron and Drake are using their clout and money to bully him out of a deal. Neither Drake nor LeBron has issued any comments on this matter. And quite frankly, nor should they. This is a matter for their lawyers, and since Mr. Glass has just decided it's time to put in the work, LeBron really has bigger things to worry about. I think something's just going on with Billy Hunter, and he really needs this $10 million. But let me know what you think is going on in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray, and thanks for watching The Fumble.